People always say I make videos going to Tesco's. Ha! Huh, I'm leaving this time. Hey everybody, so today I want to talk about ChatGPT again. And before you switch off saying I don't care about ChatGTP, it's not real AI or I don't know what it is and I don't care. I am not being hyperbolic, I think that's the right word here, to say that this is one of the most important and substantial technological advances we've had in more than a decade, at least if not longer. This is the beginning of something that you will not believe where it's going to end. And I don't know where it's going to end, but I do know it's important and it's going to have impacts on our lives in the next few years. Everybody, everybody, you will be reading stuff from it all of the time. Now, a few months ago, I made a video quite a few months ago, actually, now talking about AI art. Now, it was called AI Art is Nuts. Um, and this was at a time that many people didn't really care about this stuff and didn't see where it was going to go, but I had seen where it was going. And that video wasn't just to talk about art, it was to talk about lots of other things. So I have a few subjects in this that I want to sort of cover, but at the beginning one is that if you haven't paid much attention to what ChatGPT is or GTP4 or how it's being integrated into systems and the things that it can already do, all I would tell you is it's mind-blowing and the amount of time that it can save for people is staggering. The simplification of certain things has become from an industry to a question on, a, on literally on a spreadsheet. You can just say, hey, can you tell me this? And you don't need an accountant anymore. It can even, oh, it's, it's, it's insane. Uh, it really is. I'm not going to keep going on and on about all of that because that will bore people, but I want to stick to the broader terms. Yeah, back then, many people said that basically, you know, it's not going to do anything, it's blah, 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 it's this, that, and the other. Yeah, I think I've been proven right here. It, you will see, as the next five or so years goes on, even maybe even the next couple of years, because of how quickly this is all moving, it's, it's going to be unmissable what it's going to be doing and what it's going to be capable of. Now, that is not to necessarily say that that is a good thing. I'm not here saying that chat... GTP is a good thing for everyone. It's not. It has got negatives and it has got positives. But I believe as a tool for the everyday person, it can have some massive benefits. I use it all the jet. This is just GPT-3, the free version right now. It saves me time in doing things. In the months since I made my first video, things have gone very much in the direction I was expecting. I talked about several things in that video that could happen in the future. Uh, and I also did one on future, what was it called? Future projections or something like that. It was one of my sort of future videos. And it's kind of come true in a very short amount of time. It will not be long before you're not using a mouse and a keyboard nearly as much. Honestly, I think that we will get this integrated into Windows and there will be much more of a verbal system with your computer. There are so many things you do with your computer that would be faster to just talk to it about, ask it. Now, I know some people say, well, I don't want to do that. I like a mouse and keyboard. Fine, fine. But you will find these systems integrated into things like Windows and operating systems and stuff like that in the future, I believe. They may not be the full-blown systems because you are going to have to pay some money to use these in the future, I am sure. Oh. But there is definitely going to be... Pick a lane. There will at least be a free version that will be inserted into everything. I mean, search engines basically are, are going to become a chat GPT thing because it... It makes so much more sense. Oh God, this is slippery. <laughs> so as I say, it's a massively powerful tool and it will have many good benefits to mankind and everyday man. It will also have some big negatives. Um, yes, there will be some jobs affected. Yes, the creativity market is gonna be somewhat different. But I will say this, you know, a lot of people say about AI art is, oh, it just steals other people's ideas. It just steals other people's ideas. So do people. Look at TikTok, look at social media, look at things like that. Someone will do one video with some originality. You know, that someone at one point did a joke where he was like, oh, if you go down there, there's some guy who says that he'll give you a can of Red Bull if you lick his toes. And then when they point and they're like, oh, where was he? Oh, down there. And it's like, he's got a can of Red Bull in his hand. So, oh, so you, you licked his toes. It's the joke. How many times have you seen that video? But if you do use social media, you'll know what it is, is someone comes up with an original joke and then everyone copies them for a few days. And then someone else comes up for a original joke and then everyone copies them for a few days. And it's not like they're, you know, taking bits from other videos and joining them together to make an overall unique image, which isn't necessarily that close to the originals it was based on. No, they are literally verbatim copying the joke, the video, the way it's set out, the, the filming style, everything, copying it and re-uploading it. Personally, I find that freaking disgusting. 
as I say, if you use TikTok, if you use Instagram, and you also say, I don't like AI because it will steal artists' work, well, you are also fueling other people stealing people's work because that's what 95% of it is. There's one original video and everyone else bloody copies them and acts as if it was there with the first person to ever do it. And they also do it as if no one else is. Just, oh, it's so dumb. So dumb. Now, talking of dumb, that's another thing that people have talked about. And they've said, you know, that AI is going to make us dumb. And in ways, I actually very much agree here because when I was a kid, when I wanted information about a subject, I would go and go to the library and rent a book out. In doing that, I had to leave my house. I had to have social interactions. I used to have to go and look through the bookshelves and find a book that covered the thing I wanted. Then I'd have a book with many different subjects, you know, many different things in there. Maybe I only needed to know about one of them, but I'd still were going to read about the other bits and pieces there. And you learn. And you learn at every stage. You learn about being outside. You learn about being in the open world socially. You learn about, you know, multiple other things other than just the thing that you want to know. Google now, or even with the chat GTPs in the future, tell me about this and it will tell you a blurb in a very few words to give you a base understanding of that subject with none of the nuance none of it you won't have any of the other things you learn around it and in my experience the thing that's you know that's taught me the most is learning lots and lots of different things because when you learn lots of different things you can apply logic from one thing to another not always and it's a very you'll be very careful with this because some people who think they're very clever uh, you know, know lots of things, don't realise that they don't know much about anything, they just know a little bit about lots of things. And I've tried to not be that, I've tried to really learn in depth every subject that I'm into. I go through phases of interest, like, you know, maybe I want to learn about chemistry. I'll spend a couple of years watching chemistry lectures and things like that. I mean, as I said before, you can get all of the, edu you know, all the tuition that someone who goes to like MIT gets for free on their YouTube channel for free it's there for free so yes i do believe that in the world of you know gpting your answer it's not a good thing for the human race and it's not a good thing for intelligence and the lack of intelligence the lack of diversity in thinking is how we get to narrow-minded close-minded bad things in the world you know you get a group mentality fact-based science goes out the window realistic thinking goes out the window and you just left with this absolute hellhole of two groups of idiots having a, an argument about a subject that none of them understand. And you're probably going to be like, oh, I know what that's about. That's about X, Y, or Z. No, it isn't. Nearly everything has been divided down to two sides who know nothing about the subject and then argue about it. It's got way, way worse over the years. It's, and there's a lot of us. There is a lot of us who have sort of sat quietly. You won't comment on this video. You know, I'm trying to coax you into leaving a comment, but you won't. You watch videos all the time, you don't comment, you never comment. And, and if you do it once, then it's, oh, it's a bit weird because I'm commenting. But you know you're sat there thinking, yeah, I'm with you, mate. It's, it's, it's mildly terrifying for the intelligence of the future of the, of the world. Now, as I say, this is one of the reasons that I've, you know, I decided many, many years ago, before I was 18, it's one of the reasons, not AI, but just generally, the way the world's going is why I don't want to have kids. I'm not having kids. And this is something, and before you go, what about Reno? Do you think we'd be in a relationship for nearly eight years if she, if she didn't know I didn't want kids? It's, uh, it's something we're both agreed on because we'd rather enjoy our time on this planet and not add more people to it, exacerbating the problems of the world. And also that makes our lives easier because we have more money, because we don't have to spend out on kids and stuff like that. Admittedly, if we did have kids, we'd have our own place by now because the, you know we could just go to the government and we could get help with it. But I, have, you know, I haven't taken anything from the government other than job seekers. I think it was 19 the last time I claimed it. And um, oh, I got one grant during COVID because I was... Ah, I could have got three or four of those like COVID grants. I was, and I was offered them. You know, this is here for you to have. And I was like, no, because other people need it more than me. But at the time that I did take the one I took, I was in a tricky situation. And it really did help me get out of a hole. Uh, it got me through to build my business a bit more. And I have the equipment to then earn a lot more money over the coming years to support myself during the rest of COVID, which was essential. If you are interested in all this AI stuff, then I strongly suggest waiting for that white car behind here. Go on. You're in a very dangerous place. <laughs> I'm going to let you go. If you are into this stuff and you are interested and you don't watch The WAN Show, which is the podcast by LTT, the past few weeks they've talked about a lot of stuff and it's very, very interesting listening to them talk about it. I, I think 
well, as much as Linus will allow Luke to talk about it on there, I'm, I think I'm very much with Luke on this, that I'm like, I, I, I'm just wide-eyed, open-mouthed, just waiting to see what it can do next, because every iteration has been insanely better than the last, and it's, it's been no time at all. And this is the point, this is why you can be sure this is going to be one of the most influential, most important technological advancements we've had in a very, very long time. Now, I didn't say good in there, I said influential. You can influence someone's head off their shoulders with a sword. Now, obviously, there are many, many, many aspects to this that I could go into, many, you know, hour-long rabbit holes, because that's how much AI affects it's everything. It can be used for everything. Everything with a computer system related to it, it will help with, or it can help with, pretty much. So yeah, that's why I say my interest in this is just ever growing. If you found the video interesting or useful, please do hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new here. Uh, and a heads up to you, I'm going to be doing more live streams soon. Uh, but I don't know the timings of that. So I'm going to say here now, for the people that don't watch this far into the video, when are you normally around to watch live streams if you're going to? Catch you in the next one.